Hi guys. Good morning. Today's safety briefing is the Harris County face cover order, which takes effect on Monday. Uh, please put your name or your nickname in the comments section, as well as those of your crewmates as documentation that you attended this briefing. First of all, I want to say all of you guys are doing a great job, keeping your spirits up, keeping your distance from each other. We're having staggered start times. You guys are doing a great job of coming in at the right time, getting out of the office. It's much better than last week, much better than the week before. Come in, show up. You're doing a great job keeping up the hygiene protocols and our customers have noticed. I want to give special congratulations to Danny for once again having the cleanest cab. Honorable mention go to Alberto and Schaefer for their cab cleanliness as well. And of course, if continued, thanks to Alexander who's coming in early every day and disinfecting the padlocks, the doorknobs, the light switches, the pull chains, the truck handles, flush handles, faucet handles, garden hose attachments, you name it. Okay, so this face mask order that starts on Monday. Home office is going to be sending us some medical masks. Be patient. I ordered some off of Amazon three weeks ago. Their estimated arrival is May 15th. I went to the Pakistani shop by the house yesterday. They wanted 65 bucks for a pack of 50. I was willing to pay for it, but they weren't willing to give me a printed receipt. So I'm going to keep looking. Um, for the moment, we have plenty of these buffs. But if you're not careful and if you don't care for them, we could run out pretty quickly. I want you to put your names on them. You can do it with a Sharpie. I can help you. I want you to take them home and wash them. All you got to do is simply hand wash them with, spray, with soapy water, hang them up to dry. They'll be good to go in the morning. Now they're hot and I don't want anybody having a heat injury illness. You know this order. You don't have to wear a face mask if you're exercising outside. Well, when we're working, we're working harder than most people who are exercising all right it's forecast to be 91 today next week's forecast highs are between 86 and 91. i don't like having my buff around my neck it's too itchy so take a look at my setup it's not ideal but my ears are sore you know from wearing the homemade mask all week so i actually had this binder clip on my neck all day yesterday and it didn't bother me so i took these these rubber bands and I granny hitched them to my buff. First of all, I cut the buff in half. That's that much less material on your face. So it's already cooler by cutting it in half. So let me know if you want to MacGyver your buff and I'll get you some handy office supplies. Okay, I know you're already wearing your buff when you're running the chipper at the street. So, you know, if you're in the backyard, you want to take it off for a while, you're maintaining good distance, you're not out in public, nobody's going to give you, hopefully nobody's going to give you a hard time. Once you move around to the front, just wear it in the front yard. I think this can be a good thing because neighbors have been calling, seeing us working, calling the office, having us out. So turn this into a positive, guys. They see us following protocols. Uh, the job that Crew 1 did on Friday was was a neighbor lady who saw us working on her street. Okay, that's all. Post your comments about what face coverings you that are working for you, and please share your experiences, positive, negative. Stay safe, stay healthy, and um, we'll see you guys on Monday.